All right, Jim, well, it's been uh, 22 years since uh, we were together in the cornfields of Platteville, <laughs> Wisconsin. Oh, God, you know, you've uh, – and, and, and think about it. Now you're sitting here as one of the top coaches, college and NFL coaches, and I'm trying to do an interview with you. Think of where things have gone, huh? Yeah, well, it's uh, <laughs> I've got great memories of uh, of those days in Platteville, and, and certainly did learn a lot from you and and all the coaches that I played for. Uh, really blessed in that way. Yeah. You know what's amazing? Most people, from a public perception, look at Jim Harbaugh and they say, "Yeah, great NFL quarterback, coach of the San Francisco 49ers, uh, go to the Super Bowl, and now he's at Michigan." So this whole college coaching thing is really not new to you. You know, the perception is NFL quarterback, NFL coach, now he's in college. Is there anything from your experience, though, in San, in San Francisco that, that you'll bring with you to, to Michigan that will help you, you think? Most definitely. Uh, you know, use all your experiences uh, in some form or fashion. And, and any success that, that was, was had before uh, – Certainly wasn't an individual accomplishment by any stretch of the imagination. Those, right. were, those were team efforts all the way, and and that that that's the biggest thing I think is you know right. when you look back and you say okay we we had success you know how did we do it it was it was a team effort where everybody did a little and it and it added up to a lot and and you win as a team that's and and so many things a thousand things I mean I. I Right. I sit here talking to you, and I, no, you know, I remember all the, all the things about uh, you know that I really have taken from you and well, in my coaching career. Let's talk about Bo for a minute. Okay, I, I remember, and I don't know who he was the athletic director at the time, and the basketball coach. I don't remember his name. He had made a decision, Bill Frieder, uh, that he was going to leave, <laughs> and, Arizona State. And, and I'm going to leave at the end of the season. Right. And Bo called timeout. He says, "No, you're not." He says, "You're leaving." tonight or whatever it was right. and he says because we just want Michigan man here well then everywhere I go now all of a sudden you know he's not a Michigan man or he is a Mich what is a Michigan man in your mind seriously I mean what if you were to describe one in a sentence or two what would it be uh, what was coach talking about yeah well, I mean he's uh it's somebody that's that's for us you know I mean you talk about it's us versus them uh a lot of times in in competitive sports and you know who's the us you know it's anybody that's that's for us, wants to see us do well. Uh, who's the them? You know, anybody that doesn't want to see us do well, you know, that's, that's against us. And you know, I think that's what he was saying. And, and that was right in the middle of the NCAA tournament. They're just about to start the tournament. Okay. And, okay. And, and Bill Frieder was a great, great guy and uh, who was a great Michigan, Michigan man, no question about it, uh, was going to go uh, on to Arizona State and coach the Arizona State basketball team. And Coach Schembechler said it would be a Michigan man coaching, <laughs> and it's stuck, right? I mean, coaching it, the Michigan team. It, um, it, yeah, that was, and they went on to win the NCAA championship. Right, right. The whole thing. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Well, he motivated uh, them, right? See, he, was, he knew what he I was doing. So. I guess so. I think so. Someone told me that that Bo's influence on you to this day, that you'll still look back on some notes. Uh, you'll still, from time to time, look at a pregame mm -hmm. talk, maybe a halftime. You're living in the same neighborhood. Correct mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong. No, you do, I mean, is, is all that stuff true? I mean, that, the, that type of influence, and, and you think it still carries over? Obviously, it does to, to what you're trying to get done today. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, he was, uh, he was one of the all-time greats and you know, played, played for him, um, you know, studied him, uh, and was a kid here, too. Uh, my dad coached the secondary for Bo Schembechler. So, I mean, that, right. that man put a roof over our head, you know, food on our table and, uh, and excitement, uh, letting us be around the, the, the program. Brother John, uh, my sister Joni, right. myself. I mean, this is, this is where we used to live after school. We would come down here and Coach Schembechler would, would uh, let us come into the building and be around it. And, and we, learned, we learned so much. And uh, he provided, you know, he, he, get, he get, our dad had a job because of, of Bo Schembechler and uh, the deep abiding respect that my dad had for, for Bo. I mean, he would come home every night and wow. you know, Bo did the darndest thing today. And, uh, you know, Bo is the right. greatest coach uh, of, of all time. I mean, and the lessons that, you know, it was, a, it was about telling the truth and, and, uh, and hard work and, uh, you know, that's, that was just ingrained in us as, as kids. And then, 
Then right. of course I played for him for for sure. five years, and you know hourly, weekly, uh, you know I'm around one of the one of the all-time great coaches. Yeah, there's not a day goes by where I don't walk walk by the statue, right, uh, and think about him, or you know walk into the office and you know, you know what would Bo have done? You know how would he uh, how would he have handled this situation or that? Mm -hmm. and, uh, so did and you then live up to it, and you know, try to live up to it. Let me ask yeah. you this about you personally. You're competitive, and I told people this. I <coughs> said, "Hey, I only coached Jim for a year, <coughs> but he would be if I took the ten players in forty years of coaching from a competitive standpoint." I said, "Jim Harbaugh could have played. I thought any position on the team. I mean, your competitiveness. I'm serious. Yeah. We could have put you over there at linebacker, and you yeah. would you would have made plays." I mean, you know, your mindset, your comp I, uh, did, I wish I would have played quarterback better for you. No, uh, have, you, have, you, have, you, have you always more games. have you always had that competitiveness, or did you, did you feel like you got it from someone, or were you born with it, or somebody influ You know. Yeah, uh, it's in the family. Uh, my dad. I mean, your dad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's the most most competitive person that I know. Uh, was just was just always. Uh, was just always challenged from an early age, you know. Uh, you know, do the do the best of your God-given ability, right? Uh, you know, at all times, and uh, yeah, just looking up to him so much, mm -hmm. you know, seeing how hard he worked, um, seeing how much it it meant to him to right. uh, just do his best. Uh, you know, John, myself, Joni, we all we all learned that from an early age. And as you evaluated the conference the big 10 and your mm -hmm. opponents are going to have to play your philosophy that's won for you now that you look at the big 10 mm -hmm. and you know your competition mm -hmm. on both sides is there anything that we can maybe see coming change wise or do you think you can stay with what you've done jim you know you know we got to make up ground and and uh, ground's a hard thing to to make up uh and that's that's what we're working mm -hmm. you know extremely hard at uh, and I'm really feeling good about our coaching staff right. about our players uh, you know that they're they're putting in the, the work necessary I mean that's got to be earned that's that's dirty hard work when you got when you got ground to, to make up and and uh, that's what we're in the process of you know okay. we're uh, especially this 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 training camp portion of our of our season and uh, feeling like uh, fight like it's coming along. If I walked into your locker room and listened to one of your talks early on to the team, uh -huh. what goals, you know, what would you, what do you want to get done with your football team and your coaching staff this season? You know, what, what's realistic in your mind? We're going to go out today and uh, expect to have the best practice that we're going to have uh, this entire training camp, uh, the best meetings, uh, the best drill. Mm -hmm. uh, make each drill that, that we're in the – the absolute best. Feel like if we can get better today than we were yesterday, uh, that being the goal, and, and approach it that way every day, that it's so simple it just might work. 